you know, from a very early age, from 12, 13, 14, everybody knew me as Crone Hickson's son. Oh, you're Hickson's son. Oh, you're Hickson's son. So I, I already kind of hated that, you know. I hated being called Hickson's son. I hated being called Hawkson's little brother. I hated being called somebody that I wasn't, you know, and, like, being recognized for something that I didn't do. Somebody other than who you are. Yeah, so I kind of always knew that if I wanted to, to climb out of this name and climb out of this shadow, I would have to work twice as hard, and it was was going to be you know a real obstacle for me to get past this and that's what I uh, in my mind that was my ending goal no matter what I wanted to be my own man I wanted to be able to represent you know myself and my family and everything and I wanted to be able to be you know remembered as you know somebody who kept it going you know kept the legacy going but in my mind it was never an option not to to, to do jiu-jitsu and never an option not to be the best I could be and to be the best in the world that was always like where I was going to be I never had a, a plan B I never had a oh well, I was just going to try this and then if this doesn't work out I'll try I never had that for me it was always this was where I put my energy in so I kind of just put my energy into it see it's so cool to see uh, a young kid with aspirations and then put in the work and it's also cool to see the son of a great man become a great man himself, which is very difficult, and it doesn't really happen that often. You know, a lot of times the, the son of a great man lives in the shadow of his father and sort of falls short. But uh, you and your young life... In life, it's not so easy, you know, and, and for me, in my life, everything was easy, you know? Purple belt was easy, brown belt was easy. So I never had, had this obstacle of challenges and, and I never really had to dig deep and, and figure out what, 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 is, what am I about, really. So my f first, I won everything. I was undefeated as a purple and brown belt. And then my first match as a black belt, I, I lost. I got my ass whooped. And it was a, a mix of a bunch of things that I came to my conclusion of why that happened. But um, in the end, I think that I was just not mentally ready for that. And I let all these outside things affect me. And, Anyways, I lost the fight and really dug deep to, to see what I was going to do with my life. And, and you know, after you, you realize what happens and how you can prevent it and how you're going to get better, then you, you start to really work hard for what you want to get. And, and I, after that moment, I kind of started to really become a man and really understand sacrifice and how to work hard. And if you want something in life, you can't depend on anybody for it. And you can't ask anybody for it. You have to go and, and really work hard to, to get it. And, and that, I think, I started to really become a man as a black belt. And that's when I, you know, I've, I've lost tournaments. I've won lots of tournaments. And um, sometimes I lose because of points. And I, I've never really been about points. But um, ultimately, I feel like now, after so long of being on this journey of this hard path, I finally kind of started to find myself in the past couple of years. And and I'm finally getting uh, getting the results that I've, I've wanted a long time ago. And I've realized a lot more about life and about myself than, than if I would have just won everything. So that's a, a great situation to be in. And I'm, I work really hard for this first place uh, medal, so it's gonna be hard for somebody to take it from me. That is an interesting thing, isn't it? That you need defeat in order to really inspire you to the greatness that's inside of you. You need to feel adversity to rise to the occasion. One day with my brother, you know, we, we were talking and everything, and this was like one of the last conversations we had. And and he was always like, you know, Crone, you, you whatever you do in life, you do it 100. percent You know, you 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 do it the best you can do it. You know, if you're gonna be a dentist, you be the best dentist. If you're gonna be a skateboarder, you be the best skateboarder. But the only difference is right here, you have an opportunity to do jujitsu, and you have the best road. You have the best dad as a coach. You have the best. At, all the tools you, you you need to to really be the best you can be, and it would be stupid for you not to really take advantage of this. And that kind of happened when I was 12. And um, after my brother passed, I kind of really really put effort into that, and, and I kind of really made it my mission to to make him proud and to make my dad proud. And I kind of knew what I had in my hands.